Hello, in this video we look at the inverse of a partitioned matrix and really I'm covering this video now because we're going to use these results when I look at variance inflation factors in the multiple linear regression setting um, which that video should be out in another you know two three weeks. Here this is uh, taken straight from Wikipedia or at least the results are but the proofs are not and this three right here used to be a two and I'll explain why that's now a three when we get there. So let X be a square matrix that is partitioned in a two by two form. So that's A, B, C, D. And A, B, C, and D have arbitrary sizes, but A and D are square. That's the only requirement of this partition. <clears throat> now, the following from Wikipedia are stated without proof that if A and D minus C, A inverse B are invertible, then x inverse, which can be thought of as this, is this crazy uh, matrix. Now, if D, and then another result, so then, uh, so if A is not invertible, then we can use this result. So if D and this matrix are invertible, then x inverse can be written like this. Now, really, I want the on page two we're going to show that this result is true. And I right, so let's think about this. Oops, let's see if I can do this. Really hope I can. Okay. So um, this is to rem this is the result that we're trying to show. So we're going to take X. Now X is A, B, C, D, even though this is inverse, and this is to remind you of what X is. So first of all, we want to take this row, you know, we want to take A, B. So, you know, literally I should be showing this. So when I say we take the first row, A, B, I'm referring it to this, so without that, just so you can uh, remember. So we're going to take A, B times this first column. And that's what we get here. So A times this, which is this piece here. B times this piece, which is this. Now, let's multiply the A in here. And we get the identity matrix. And then those cancel, and we're left with just, you know, what's left over. But we add it and then subtract it. So that's 0, and it leaves just I. So this, the yeah. Now the second result, we take the first row, so A, B times this column and see what we get. So the minus is there and the A is, you know, from the matrix and then that result and then B times this, which is this. Um, well, the A and the A inverse are, you know, is the identity matrix. So it goes away and we have minus this we have plus that. So it's zero. It's a zero matrix. So C, we take um, CD times this first column. So we have C, you know, times that expression, which is here. Okay, and I need a bracket right there. And then... Um, and then CD times the next one. Let me find the pin here. And then uh, D minus this. And that's what this part is. Now, notice that we, we have a CA common. Okay. Right? We have a CA and a DCA inverse in, in these terms, right? And then it can then not common. But here we have a, a C times A inverse. We, we kind of have the first piece. And of course that C goes times that too. So let's multiply this piece times the identity. So, you know, after we multiply that in. And it doesn't change it. And that's what we do. So the C minus A is right here. And then we take this matrix times its inverse, and that's the identity, so it doesn't change it. 
and then that C comes into here and we get that and then we have the minus D and we get this so now we can right factor out this piece right here and then what's left is this so we have that matrix we have uh, C and A inverse B and then we have D well look we have D minus D we have C A inverse B minus C A inverse B so this is the zero matrix and then times that you get zero and uh, for the fourth one we take C D times this and that's what we get here now we right factor out a you know this piece which is here and then what's left so here we have a D which I write first and then we have minus C A inverse B which I write here but look we have this matrix times its inverse matrix that's the identity so we it is so this is the identity matrix for this is 2 to X now the proof of uh, the second version we're going to get a little quicker in the interest of time so um, which is this so we take um, we take A times this column that's what A is you know and then that result to B and then this result so we right factor out this A inverse and we're left with A and B well that's the matrix times this inverse which is the identity then we take A B times this and that's what this is and then B I go ahead and multiply the B into both of those to save space um, we right factor out a, a B invert this you know this piece here um, this doesn't have it so we have to multiply it by the identity matrix and then what's left over is this piece and here we have minus A so what we have in here is A minus A B D inverse C minus B D this is the zero matrix we get zero then we take uh, C D times this and that's what this represents and that's just simply this is the invert this is identity so we have this matrix minus the same at zero so that's easy and then we take C D times this and then um, C is there and then we take D and multiply it in this is identity this is identity so we have that matrix minus the same thing at zero we're left with the identity so they are the identity matrices from each other and so the, these results are true it's the identity matrix and I stopped and I was going to uh, finish recording you know or writing it up and I'm like you know what there's something so unsatisfactory to that yes the results true but how the heck did he derive it you know and I'm like I don't know I've actually never seen the proof of this and I thought you know how would I do it and then so I started just experimenting and actually it ended up being so easy so that's why there's a three and not a two. And, and this is it. This is, or this is how I derived it. So we have the matrix A, B, C, D, and then we have the identity matrix over here. And then what we do is uh, Gaussian elimination or, or you know, put, we want to put this side in the identity matrix. And then what is here ends up being the identity for this. So here, if we left multiply this row by A inverse, we get this. Now we want to take this row times, you know, left multiply it by minus C and then add it to this row and replace it. And we get this, right? So that goes to the zero. Uh, left multiply by minus C and then add it to this. That's what we get there. And then a carries over now we take the inverse of this you know you know left multiply by the inverse so then that becomes the identity and here we get you know we had to take the left inverse of both of those now we take minus a inverse B times this and then add it to that row and replace it and that's what we get here right and so yeah, so it ends up being a uh, zero. 
So notice if we take minus A inverse, B, that's what this piece is, that's from here, and then we add it to that, that's why that's out there, and then of course we have the minus AB out there. And that's it, so that's, that's the inverse matrix of ABCD, and that's exactly the result from page one. I was like, that's so clever. And now we could, I could probably do that for a three by three matrix, you know? I've actually never seen that result. I'm sure it exists, so I'm not saying that it's unique, but this is easy. So now to prove the other one, we start out with ABCD, but now we make this the identity first and kind of solve it that direction. So we left multiplied by D inverse everywhere. Then we want this to be zero, so we multiply left multiply this by minus B and then add it to this, and that's what we get here. And then uh, we want to make this the identity, so we left multiply it by its inverse, and that's what we get here, right? And so the left inverse is, you know, that's what we get here, and then the left inverse. And of course, this one didn't change. So now we multiply this times minus D inverse C, and add it to this, and we get that. And since this is the identity, that's it. That's the inverse matrix. And that's the exact result off of Wikipedia. So anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this. This ended up being a little a much more cool video than I anticipated. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.